Uh, we get a quick video of our power guilt entry. Uh, she's 39-93. Uh, a guilt here that's sired by uh, Next Attention. Uh, back on a uh, mob squad drop and swag, double bread drop and swag on the Graham Dam side. Um, a guilt here that um, offers a lot of uniqueness in her pedigree. That um, mob squad line goes back to distinct, back on the visionary sow, and then the drop and swag on the Grand Dam uh, is a mother of. Dirty swag and the and the foxy board that we have here instead here at WD Swine. Uh, we thought we'd offer this late kind of June uh, gilt here. I think one that could fit for uh, a lot of different shows in terms of Fort Worth or uh, San Antonio gilt show um, or Denver. Um, but obviously, I think this is one that can really make a unique uh, breeding piece for someone also down the road. Uh, a gilt that's really immature in her look, as you can see on the video. Uh, but a gilt that's really stout in her skull, really stout in her her front leg and foot, uh, guilt that gets her, when you get to uh, out or get her on the move, she's really level in her design when you study her from the point of her shoulder to her hip. I really like the look this guilt does offer us. It's got a great hind leg when you get behind her. I like her flexibility, her looseness of her spine, her looseness out of her hawk, how she pushes and goes away from us. Uh, a guilt that I think has a lot of things to offer. As I said, she is immature still. I think when this guilt gets fat and fluffy, um, there at 300 pounds or so, I think she could really look good has an excellent underline. I believe she has six on one side and eight on the other. Uh, so we do a lot of things with that part in terms of raising lots of ticks for you. Uh, once again, this is our 39-93 uh, guilt. Next attention, mob squad, drop and swag.